I'm going to show you how to unlock Twilight Chomper for free inside of Garden Warfare 2. Let's do this. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the link in the description of this video. There are three links you want to download. Download them all. The first one should be Frosty Fix. After you download it, you're going to make sure Garden Warfare 2 is selected. And you're going to make sure that the EA Desktop is also selected in this option. After that, you're going to press Launch with Mods Enabled. And you should see that EA will launch. And after EA is launched, you can minimize EA and Frosty Fix. Alright, after you've done that, you're going to want to open Frosty Mod Manager. And once you open, you're going to find that Garden Warfare 2 should be the first game that comes up if that's the only game you have. Otherwise, you might want to press the Scan Games button down there to scan for games. Once you find it, select Garden Warfare, press the Select button, and then you should find this screen. You're going to go to the Add Mods button and it should take you to your downloads. You're going to want to find the Twilight Chomper Pack. It's right here, so I'm going to open it. And then it should say this, it's going to say not meant for this version, just press OK. And then you're going to go to Applied Mods, the button up here. And then you're going to press Apply Mods. So now that's applied, all you have to do is press the Launch button. And you're going to wait for the mod to apply to the game. It might take a while, so just come back whenever it's finished. Alright, after the mod is done applying, you're going to press the launch button. Now, Steam should start to load up, or EA, it doesn't matter. But if you're on Steam, it is very important that you follow this next step. Steam is going to load, and before you do, you're going to make sure you have this file open. You're going to have your PVC2 Garden Warfare 2 file ready, because there's a file called CritBase DLL, which must be deleted, or else it will not allow the game to run with the mods enabled. So we're going to delete that right there. And then if you're on Steam, you should see this message. Just make sure before you actually press launch that the crit paste DLL is not there. And if it's not, you deleted it. All you have to do is just press launch. And then you can close Steam and Guard of Warfare 2 should launch shortly. After Guard of Warfare 2 launches, all you have to do is pick any character, go to the backyard, and kill some brown coats or some weeds, and then you'll be able to get Twilight Chomper. After you kill something, you should see this message, Twilight Chomper Pack, and then you should see this blue thing. Then you're going to hop over to your sticker shop, and then right there, you should be able to see that there's one gift. Open the sticker shop, go to your gifts, and you should see that there is a Twilight Chomper Pack. Now, if you already own Twilight Chomper, it'll just give you 7,500,000 coins. But if you did not previously have the Twilight Chomper, you'll get Twilight Chomper right here, 100% free. And there you have it, guys. That is how you unlock Twilight Chomper for free inside of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this one, please do me a big favor and like, subscribe, join my Discord server, link in the description, and I will see you in the next one.